It's all on the line for the Zane Trace Pioneers in Division 5 Region 20 quarterfinals against Cincinnati opponent Purcell Marion if they want to move on to the semifinals. The Cavaliers showed their athleticism the second they stepped onto the field as Sonny Ward bounced to the outside and into the end zone 7-0. Ward took control of the ball on their next possession, juked the defender, and charged down the sideline 54 yards to the house, his second touchdown of the night to extend their lead. Purcell Marion added a third touchdown with a three-back formation ran in by J.L. Harris from nine yards out. St. Trace head coach Dylan Wares describes the challenge the Cavaliers presented for their team. Their scheme makes you not be able to really dial in on one player. You really have to be able to guard numerous players the whole game all the time. The Pioneers' fight to put up points was apparent as Aiden Dunn, who quite literally said, you're done to the Cavaliers with this crazy run, he refuses to go down. Where a few plays later, Blake Phillips connected with Dunn to score their first touchdown 20 seconds out from the half. Down by two scores, Wares had a heart to heart with the team about some major changes needed to be made on the field. It was a whole lot of me saying you guys aren't really taking this opportunity the way you should be taking it. Um, and and it, when you get to week 12, teams are really good and you don't you don't win unless you play every play like it's your last. The two areas of improvement the Pioneers needed are effort and physicality. And the team set both of these components in motion in the second half. Gunnar McCall had hit Aiden Dunn at the line of scrimmage, and Dunn made some Cavaliers miss for his second touchdown of the night, 21-14. After the Cavaliers score, Zane Trace cuts it to six points in the final six minutes, left in the fourth, punched in by Riley Hartsaw. After recovering a fumble inside the 40, Phillips charged to the end zone to put the Pioneers back in the ball game with their first lead of the night. In the final three seconds of of the game. A field goal made by Purcell Marion decided the fate of the Pioneers, winning the game by a hair 30-28. to 28. Phillips elaborate their emotions when they knew their season officially came to a close. Sad, happy, you know, we had a great, we had a great year and, uh, you know, us seniors, you know, I'm sad we're not going to play the game of football again. For Gridiron Glory, I'm Reese Thompson.